Hello, my people, and welcome to Pamplona, Spain. Today, I'm going to the University of Navarra. We're about a three hour train ride away from Madrid. Really easy to get here. Nice small town feel. So, if you're not looking for the big city vibes and you want a little bit more of a relaxed, cozy atmosphere, this is the place. So like right away, this place gives me massive U.S. University vibes in terms of the way the campus is laid out. This is a huge campus. I mean, you could spend hours all day walking around here. I probably will. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get the drone out so I can actually give you like an idea of how big this campus is and really show you where everything's at. So this is a residence hall for just guys. In fact, uh, at this institution, which is an Opus Dei institution, men and women are kept separate from the dorms, but it is one of the few universities in Spain to have dorms on campus. So if you're looking for that on-campus lifestyle, this is one of the few places in the entire country that you can even do that. Now, a lot of times when I tell people that they should check out this university, people say that there's nothing to do in Pamplona and that they'd rather be in Madrid. Now, let me tell you, after a night of going out to the bars, there's plenty to do in Pamplona, okay? There's like hundreds of bars and nightclubs, places to get your dance on, get your drink on and have a good time. Lots of great restaurants. And you've even got things like this museum right here. Like, there's, there's stuff to do in this town. Now, I mean, yeah, maybe after studying here for four years you might have seen it all but i think you could go to a different bar every day for like at least two years and not repeat a single one so you're not going to be bored here let's check out the town
there's way more to Navarra than I previously thought. Like, I'll be honest, I didn't know a whole lot about this place. I just knew a lot of our students wanted to go there. And I know we've helped a lot of people get here. So I didn't have a whole lot of like frame of reference as to what they were getting into. But now that I have been here, man, this is, this is one hell of a campus. So now I want to talk a little bit more about the programs and the admission process. And so we're going to talk to Beatrice, who is one of the international admissions representatives here at Navarra. She's going to explain everything that you need to know in terms of like the application process, what matters, what doesn't. We're going to talk about the essays, the interviews, and when you should apply. My name is Beatriz Plagaro. I'm an international admissions coordinator at the University of Navarra. The most popular ones are always like medicine, psychology, economics, business. It's increased also in communications, marketing, and nursing. And we are getting like new programs, more from humanity sites, also like the PPE, like the philosophy, politics, and economics program. And we have one that is the only one available in Spain, actually, applied management. A perfect match between marketing and business without that much content in numbers. So by law, we cannot get more than 200 students into medicine. We cannot get more than 25 into biomedical engineering. So there are some programs that are, they're like, Maximum 90, maximum 60. After talking with Beatrice for a while, it's like really, really clear that you should apply early here if you want to have the best chance of getting admitted. Deadlines, they call them deadlines because if you're applying on the deadline, you're dead, okay? That's what it means. So you need to apply early while you're alive. It's better to apply always in the first deadline. And the first deadline normally ends at the end of November, 27th, 28th. The admission test is in December, and then there's the April deadline. But we normally don't recommend international students to wait until the April deadline. Can you say roughly what percent of the class is filled after that first deadline? How much is approximately left? Actually, some of the programs could be fully filled after the first deadline. In the first deadline, they are already waiting list students. One of the most important parts of the process for the university, we believe in that at least, is like meeting the student in person. In person, you can see how they talk, how they move, how they express themselves. Like, you can get to know them better. So that's why the personal interview is like mandatory. So you want to know more about them, their families, the, the hobbies they have. And this uni is not for everybody and not everybody is for this university. Some of them, they are not ready to go abroad. So we're looking for people that are going to be easy to adapt here. On that topic of the essay, like you said it's optional, right? But yes. like, would it hurt a student if they don't do it? You're going to get asked like why you want to come to this university. But it's not mandatory to fill in that, that field actually. Because that's why we do also the interview. Because it's what I was saying, like you can you get more from the student one to one. Sort of like a way for you to kind of get a feel for the student, maybe yes. before the interview. Exactly. But it doesn't actually factor into like no. the evaluation. No. Definitely. Okay. No. If you are interested in knowing more about the university or you want to apply for next academic year, you can reach out to the uh, closest delegate in your area. So it depends on your country. You can find them all in our website. In case you're confused, you don't find yours, uh, you can always send a general email to admission at una.es. I have had an awesome day here at Navarra, and I just want to give a big shout out to everybody who made this day possible. Juan, Diego, Clara, Beatriz, and all the students that I talked to. Just everybody has been super supportive, has made it easy for us to be here and has made it an awesome day for me. So thank you so much to you guys for making this possible and thank you for watching this video. If you like this stuff, subscribe because I got more stuff from Spain to show you. The trip's not done yet. I'll see you next week.